Know the gang, know the gang, know the gang. Where my notification gang at? You part of the notification gang? Let me know in the comment section below. If we can get to chop it up after this video. So today I'm bringing you guys the pass heavy scheme or the three wide receiver scheme from the Patriots playbook. It's meant to complement the two tight end scheme that I re released yesterday. This one's free as well. But the two tight end scheme is normally used when you want to run the ball or you have a strong defense, you're trying to chew the clock out or you need a simple offense to move down the field. Now this is de uh, dedicated or this is probably used more just for like an every down offense. I normally, I normally go to this wide receiver set or th these play selections, this scheme on, on a every down basis. So if you need to catch up, you can go ahead and use this or if you want to use like some, some decent passing concepts, you will go ahead and use this. Now the two formations we're going to go over is the Y off trips patch and the trips tight end. And they're both three wide receiver personnel as you can see right here. So you can just audible straight to them. So with the Y off trips patch, the audibles I like to use is square will be Pat's Y out. That's the top play right there. And then triangle will be halfback power. Then L1 will be Y option wheel, which is at the top right there. And then R1 will be the scat play, which you see right here is the square play right there. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you guys the setups and the concepts behind it. And then I'm going to go over goal line. Then we're going to go against the meta defenses. And then I'll show you guys how I use it in like a live game situation. So let's go ahead and start with the Pats Y out. Now, if you're new to this channel and you like what you see or you learn something today, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. So just in general, the way I use this offense and pretty much all my offenses is I will flood the zones and use high low reads and against man coverage, I'll use man beating routes. And I'll show you guys the man beating routes a little bit later in this video. So it's not really specifically the specific route adjustments that I make but it's more about the concept behind it. So with a play like this, you can do a bunch of things with it. So the first thing you know, take notice is that there's two post routes that come across the fields. So you can re realize that and now you can attack the left side deep and you can attack the right side deep. And how you would set each of those sides up is by, again, by flooding the zones and then using the high low read to flood the zones and what I would also do is set up something to counteract the user so how would I set up this play if I wanted to attack the right well first I would fade Gordon triangle a Y so like Gordon or you can put him on a street or fade I'll put him on a fade so you can see here then I would put Gronkowski on a normal out route triangle a Y so like Gronkowski push the d-pad out and then I would put Edelman on a smart in route triangle a Y select Edelman Put him, press the D-pad to the left, and then select him again and press R1 and block the running back. So what this would do is that it floods the right side. You can see I'm in a cover three. So in a cover three, there's two zones on the right side. Most of the time, there's only two zones on the right side. There's this deep corner over here, and then there's this uh, DB right here in this curl flat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flood that zone. I'm going to put three routes over there, and there's only two defenders. We have the Gordon route, we have the Gronkowski out, and then eventually it's going to be Hogan on that crossing route. So there's going to be three routes and there's only two zones in that area. I mean, you do the math, we're going to have one route that's not going to be covered. You go ahead and throw it to him. And that's just the general concept behind all my passing plays. You don't even really need to learn my specific adjustments, but just know that that's the concept behind it. Flood a zone, and then I do it and to help me make a read, it's high-low. If they go low and guard Gronkowski, I go ahead and throw to Hogan and vice versa. If they go high and guard Hogan, I will go ahead and throw it to Gronkowski. And Edelman is used as a user distraction. If the user goes and guards Hogan, I can throw to Edelman and vice versa as well. So you sit here and you make a read. I can't, he, he, when they went low and guarded uh, Gronkowski, so I threw high to Hogan. So now let's emulate the user going ahead and guarding uh, Hogan real quick. So we set up the play. Let's go here. And now we're going to see that this is the user and he's going to guard Hogan. And so when he goes up to guard Hogan, obviously you have that deep in route. Now it won't be, it won't be as cut and dry as this. He's not going to run straight over there, but that's the general concept. You don't even have to put Hogan on a smart in route. You could put him on a slant. You could put him on a drag. You can put him on just a normal in route. And you can also playmaker him if he gets up there. You can put him you can do something like this, whereas they're both on a in route. And then when Edelman comes across the middle of the field, you can playmaker him up the field. Since he's going to be the nearest receiver, 
you can playmaker him up the field. Now, obviously, I don't have the best, like, I don't have the playmaker can for Mutt, but that's the general idea. Like, even, you don't even have to do, like, specific smart in route. That's just the, one of the basic ways that I can explain it. And the same goes for the other side. You want Gordon to get open. You want to run the same play, but now you can run it to the left. Now, with Gordon's post route, you're going to have to smart route it because it runs too deep if you leave it like that. So triangle of Y, select Gordon, press R1 for the smart route. Now it's going to break a little bit sooner. And again, you can flood that area just like that. So now I have, you can have put Gronkowski on the in route, which will eventually become an out route. And you can leave it something like this. You can go ahead and drag Gronkowski. You can do a lot of things, but the general concept is that I'm flooding the left side. There's going to be three routes over there. Actually, you can motion over element. Put them on a smart in route this way. You know what I'm saying? As long as you have against zone coverage, you flood, and then you have uh, a check down, which is Gronkowski, or the out route the other way. And I also have a user distraction, which is what's his name, Edelman. So here's a play set up here. I probably won't have enough time because this is practice mode. But you see here, Gordon gets open down the sideline because as that, that crossing route, like there's no, not only there's no zone to gr uh, to guard a post route like that. The zones that were normally in the play design were all uh, covered. So you see here, Gronkowski pulls down that curl flag. Not that the curl flag could get down there anyway, because the curl flag is not going to go that deep anyway. But he pulls down the curl just a little bit. And I mean, you know, so no, there's no curl flag guard in there. So you really don't even need the Gronkowski on that pull down route. But you can see here, since this outside corner had to guard Hogan just like this. That leaves Gordon wide open down the sideline. So that's the general concept behind how I like to use these plays. Now we will, there's also another setup that I like to show you guys, and it's a wheel route from Edelman. So you so if you get here, pull this wheel route from Edelman up, you streak Hogan or fade Hogan, and then get your check down from Gronkowski. So now it's like a dilemma for the user. If the user goes and guards Gordon, you can throw the wheel route into the inside. So let's go ahead and try to emulate that. Let's put the user as a man coverage on Gordon. And so now we, we still have the flood to the left and the user distraction. Now just the route has changed. Instead of being like a smart in route, now it's a wheel route. Now my only kind of concern is that if the uh, free safety will go ahead and jump that wheel route. That's my only concern, just a little bit. Sometimes you can put Hope Gronkowski on the street to alleviate that and put your running back out on a swing to replace Gronkowski. But that's risky because if he got good pressure, you're going to get sacked. But you can still block six. But sometimes, see here, he finally gets open. It took forever for him to get open because he kind of got bumped by that middle linebacker. But you see, that's the general idea behind the Y out. So now we're going to go ahead and jump into the, what's the next play? Oh, I can't even see right quick. Come on, hurry up, man. Hurry up and sit still. The next play is the Y option wheel. So the reason why this play is different than just the normal uh, Pats Y out that we were using before is that the wheel route can help you beat cover three. Now this is not something that you want to utilize all the time, but it's something that can definitely be thrown in every once in a while if your opponent is running a stock cover three. You motion over Edelman and then you put him on a smoke screen, triangle of Y, select Edelman and then press R2 for the smoke screen. Now if they don't adjust their zones, that, that, meaning if he doesn't put his uh, corner in a deep I mean a deep half where he doesn't play the sticks what's gonna happen is that outside corner is gonna play Hogan to the inside just a little bit and that's gonna open up room for white to run on the outside butt naked so you can see here he follows that wide receiver and then you just throw it to white just like that just up the sideline you throw it to white now this play is decent and this is different than other wheel routes because look at the wheel right here by white it kind of cuts up the numbers now the other wheel route, the normal wheel route cuts outside the numbers and then in the, in the scat plays you can see here he cuts way to the outside. So you want to utilize the wheel routes differently. So this one here with uh, the Pats Y out play, you can utilize the B cover 3 and you can auto, you also utilize it to beat a lot of the popular blitzes because this is going to attack a zone, I mean attack an area of the field where the, the blitzes won't be able to reach. Like if they run the 3 3 5 odd blitz, which I'll show you guys a little bit later, uh, and how to beat that, this is going to attack an area of the zone where the zone defender, like the cloud flat, is not going to be in there. And any kind of hook zones is probably going to be just outside the hook zones. 
So once again, obviously the only two special things about this play is the wheel route and the post route. Anything, these other routes that you can get from, you can get a flat from any other formation. You can get a, a option route from other formations. You can get a streak from other formations. But what this does work well is that it works in conjunction, works well in conjunction with another play, which is scat. And that's by utilizing the motion by Edelman here. You can obviously do a bunch of things. You can streak Edelman if you want to. What the heck? I, mean, I meant to streak Edelman, but I streaked Hogan by accident. You can streak, uh, what's his name? I, can't, I keep forgetting the name, even though it's sitting right there in white. You can streak Edelman, drag Gronkowski, and now you're going to open up a way to uh, to get the wheel route wide open. So you can put Edelman on that fade, drag Gronkowski. Now what's going to happen is the fade's going to pull the corner deep. The drag is going to pull down that curl flat, and then white is going to expose this, the area in between the flat and the, the deep third corner, and you should be able to hit them. But obviously, this is occupying, this is using five men, so you don't want to use this when they're sending crazy heat at you. But you see here, obviously, you can hit Gronkowski right there, and then you're able to hit white up the, up the middle. It's like a seam attack from the running back, and that's what's different about his wheel route. Let's just go ahead and just take a look at a normal wheel route by why you see how wide he goes up and how wide he goes out that's you can attack the outside a little bit better but that's not the same as being able to attack up the seam so now let's go into taking a look at the scat play here's the y option wheel now here's scat now what we're eventually going to do is that we're going to bring it to where you remember in the last play we motioned over edelman and then hogan was on the post route now when you motion over edelman edelman's on that post route so now your opponent can't properly identify who's going to be on that post route but again, let's go ahead and back to the basics. So again, like I said before, flood the zones and then high, low read. And so how are you gonna do that out of this play? Well, the first set is street Gordon, triangle of Y, select Gordon, put him on the street, and then put Gronkowski on the out route. Triangle of Y, select Gronkowski, put him on the out route. Now you can block the running back if you want to, and then do whatever with Hogan. You can put him on a regular in route, you can put him on a smart in route, streak, I mean, that's a slam. I'm talking about street. We'll just put them on this. And so now the right side is getting flooded. And then you just make the high low read between Gronkowski and the corner route. They went low. You can go ahead and hit element. Hopefully we pass a little bit sooner, but we're able to get that. So now let's go ahead and play the sticks so I can hit Gronkowski. See here. Uh oh. I, I made the wrong. I made the wrong adjustment. I put my slot, my slot corner on a flat streak. I don't know why I did that. So you see here, go ahead and block the running back. And it's a lot of the same concepts, but it's in different formations. And we're gonna add a little twist to the scat play. So you're gonna see here, now they went high, you go low and hit Gronkowski. Now what you can do with the scat play is that you can motion that, uh, that post route and you can motion snap it, or you can bring them all the way across the field. So you see here, you got the same setup, but now against different zones, what you can do is you can motion snap this this uh, this corner route here. So you motion them out. So now it creates like he gets even deeper down the sideline and it creates like a, a little bit of different feel for your opponent. But you can also use that motion snap in other plays. You can use it in this play here. So you see here, we got a motion. He's on an out route. Like this is the same, like this is the, the Y option wheel. Yeah, the Y option wheel, motion snap him. And now you can make different plays look the same. That leaves that leaves that post route deep down the sideline. But so utilize the motion snap and it helps with the run. We're in the halfback power. You can motion snap him to help out on the run. What the heck is he doing? I don't know why he went to the outside, but you can bring him to the close to the inside. Hold on just a second. Let's just show this real quick. I don't want to look like somebody who's crazy. You bring him to the inside and now he's helping you out on the run. So that's why the motion, that's why even though it looks like the same concept and your opponent would want to do the same thing, he goes, okay, you're just going to try to flood to the right. But by adding in that motion snap, that motion snap can not only you can still run the same flood concepts, but you can run different plays and you can run the ball with that motion snap. So this is why this, these plays, like this, this entire thing is, is simple, but the fact that you execute pretty well and you're able to mix it up makes it hard for your opponent. Even though he may have his flood defense set up, you want to run a flood concept and he has that flood defense set up. Now you're going to run the ball with the same motion snap. He doesn't know the difference. So he has his Y option wheel defense set up. He's like, okay, I'm going to man up Hogan. I'm going to man up the running back or whatever. You run out in this scat play 
and now you motion over Edelman. If I can get him over, now Edelman's on the post route, and now Hogan, he's manning up Hogan. He's sending somebody straight down the field in man coverage. And so from this set, you can leave it like this if you want to. And what's going to happen is that running back is going to get open deep down the sideline. Obviously, you have the post route, but the way that running back runs that wheel route is that he goes further to like once he turns up field, he's going to fade to the outside. You can you can see it right there in the scat play right here. You see, once he cuts up field, he's going to kind of fade to the outside, which really helps him get open against curl flat. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Obviously, that's a deep passing play. But again, motion over Edelman, and now you have the entire you, you have the entire play at your feet because now every time you motion over Edelman, he doesn't know who's on a crossing route. So you can utilize that to your advantage. You can do something like this. Something as simple as this. It's a simple concept. You got the drag, you got the curl route, and then you got the post. He, anyone he goes and guards, you can go ahead and run the opposite. I can hit the drag here. I can throw a low ball to the post. And then, I mean, throw a low ball to the curl route, and then you go there. It's not, I'm not running anything super crazy out here. I'm just running concepts that work against zone coverage, and I'm running some, I'm mixing it up to make it efficient so my opponent can't really predict it. So those are the main plays I run on a wide off trips pass. Now I'm going to show you guys how I use this formation to beat the 335 odd. So first off, against the 335 odd blitz, as you can see here, I'm about to have it set up. Let's go ahead and move him out here. Go ahead and hit. The first thing I want to do, I want you guys to think about is to run the ball. A lot of times if I see this, I'll just go into my two tight end scheme, the same one that I put out yesterday. I'll probably leave a link in the description or throw a card up in the top right. I'm going to run the ball most of the time. So there's two different runs that you can run. I'll probably go into that two tight end scheme, but in this Y off trips, I mean the gun Y off trips, there's two runs that you can utilize. You can utilize the five, six trap, which is what I'm in right now. And you can only you also utilize the halfback power. Now you can help you can help it by motion snapping Edelman. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. That's up for you to decide, depending on how you can get the timing down. But you can just motion out Edelman, bring him in. He actually freaking ran into the running back. I don't know what that's about, but for some reason, sometimes the motion snap by Edelman doesn't work. So you can just run a play straight up, and it's just a regular trap play. You make your reason, you get out. Now. Gerard Davis, who's a like a second year linebacker, just block shed a 350 pound lineman. But you see here, the trap play will help you get to the outside. And if the trap play doesn't work, you can get the power play, the triangle power. Let's go ahead, set up the blitz. I didn't even set up the blitz that last time. Uh, Davis put him out here, bring in Agnew. Now, with the power play, if you can get to the your read is basically going to be on uh, Gronkowski, your tight end. If your tight end blocks that nickel and you're able to seal the edge, then run to the outside. If not, then you're going to have to run to the inside. He didn't block the nickel, so then we had to run it. The gap was there, just the rest of the defense didn't, I mean, the rest of my offensive line didn't hold up their part of the, of the bargain right there. So let's go ahead and run it again. Move Agnew out here. See, he's right there. So now I'm running halfback power. Now you read as if Gronkowski can get that, uh, that DB. And we can block the edge. We kind of got an edge right there. Gronkowski didn't hold his block against the DB, which is, I'm not, I'm not sure why this game's coded that way, where a tight end can't block a DB. But you guys see it. It's obviously going to be harder now that Night Train Lane is in the game. I've also did a video about this before as well. But Night Train Lane is in the game, so run is going to become a lot harder. But you have to make your reads. Obviously, you can go to the two tight end sets, and you can run out of there. That got better blocking. My run stick was terrible. I had a lane to the outside and I had a lane to the inside. But for some reason, I decided to go ahead and run straight into the DB, which kind of seems like my real Madden skills in real life. You guys will see me. I know the right thing to do, but for some reason, I'll just make the wrong decision anyway because life is more fun that way. So you see here, we're able to get that edge right there and go straight in. Now, it looked like I just ran it 50 times and I only got it right one time. Sometimes it happens like that. But I'll show you guys in a live gameplay. Hopefully, when I do the live gameplay, we'll go against somebody who utilizes defense, and I'll be able to show you show you guys how that works. But also against this defense, this defense is menacing if you don't know what if you don't know if you're not calm and poised. You know what I'm saying? They're sending six at you, to scream, and you only got a short time to make a uh, make a pass. And if you make the wrong pass, it's a pick probably going the other way. 
So I mean, think of, I mean, just look at the just look at the play art. There's no one on the edges of the defense. Now my normal flood concepts will work. So a simple flood concept like out of scat where we put Gordon on a smoke screen and then put Gronkowski on the out or Gordon straight up here. You know what I'm saying? Something simple like this. This is going to gain a lot of yards. Go here. This is going to gain a lot of yards because there's nobody over there to guard Edelman or really nobody over to guard Gorgon. Gordon. You can do the high low with Edelman and Gordon. It'll probably throw it straight to Gordon. And then, or you can put Gordon on the streak and then high low to Gronkowski and Edelman. There's nobody over there to the right side. So, you know what I'm saying? Before the blitz is able to get home, we're, the ball is out of our hands and there's nobody over there. Same goes for the left side. Most of the time, sometimes they'll leave this DB out in the zone cover. So he'll be out here. So that sometimes they only throw the five man. But most of the time, they'll leave the five man out there and the user will come over here. But same goes with, the, with that left side. If I can get my user over here, you can just throw a simple smoke screen. Hold on, I even, I'm not even in the passing play. A simple smoke screen by Hogan would, oh, is killer. Look, there's nobody over there. You just throw it to Hogan. Simple as that. And you can utilize the fact that there's nobody in that zone. So in the Y option wheel play, so now, now, now I'm going five wide, but now I'm going to run the full blitz real quick. And the Y option wheel play, as the user, he's probably going to come and guard Let's see, let's get over here real quick. Actually, I'm gonna put my I'm gonna block my tight end. So as a user, he's probably gonna go and guard that post route. And, and if he does it, then you hit the post route. But here, you remember when I talked about white beating uh that blitz? That's that, that wheel route right there is gonna get right up in there, and you're able to go ahead and hit that soft spot and make a move with your running back. So it's quick reads into the areas where the blitzes are coming from because there's no one there to stop it. It's not nothing magical. You just have to be patient and make it read. And you have to be okay with taking five to six yards. Obviously, you can run the ball on them and get up out of there. Use use this play. Use the two tight end scheme to get up out of there. I normally, I would recommend people, if, if you're not too advanced in Madden, I recommend going to the two tight end scheme and utilizing that because it, the reads are a lot easier and the running is a lot easier because you have a more run oriented or in, uh, personnel. So now let's jump into the gun trips tight end. So in the gun trips tight end, my audibles will be double in sale. As you can see there at the top of the screen, my run will be inside zone. My L1, now L1, you can make a different thing. You can make it the PA slot corner. You could make it the, I think the drive post is a good play. Verticals is a very good play. I'll show you guys how that can be cover three. I don't recommend throwing a bubble screen in there, but you can, it'll help beat the um, zone coverage. The curl flat, the angle, the PA counter goal is very popular. I'm pretty sure most people will put PA counter going there, but I'll, I'll, I throw in slot corner just for me. But you can use any other play for L1, a lot of other plays. And then R1 is PA shot wheel. Let's go over double in sale real quick. So double in sale is really two main setups. The first one goes like this. You streak Hogan, triangle to Y, select Hogan, press the D-pad up, and then you put element on the flat route. Triangle to Y, select element, press L2. Now the first read every single time is the running back. If the running back, if there isn't a corner out there on a hard flat, you go ahead and you throw the running back. He's going to be open for at least a five to six yard gain. You see here, even though he's underneath that running back, that, that curl flat is over there, he's not on the running back. And that's a completion of a decent amount of yards. As, as long as nobody's directly on that running back, that's a completion. You know what I'm saying? That's five yards right there, easy and simple. Now when the user starts to click on or when he starts to go to hard flats, then you want to go ahead and make that adjustment. So here, this is right here. So now I'm gonna to go to hard flats. You're gonna see here the hard flats are right on that running back. And it's maybe a little bit harder to read it, but you also have other routes in that area. And then on the left side, it's a simple read. It's a slant flat. I mean, it's not really a slant flat, it's an in flat, but you read the left. You can hit Hogan, you can hit Hogan right away. You can hit him because he's on this, it's a cover three of this scene, but against most defenses, you can hit Hogan on that scene. I'm going to show you real quick. See here, nobody's on Hogan, you can hit the Hogan. It's, it's a it's quick read. If the running back side is closed up, then you go ahead and hit that. And the second setup is you will put Gordon on a smoke screen. Triangle to Y, select Gordon, and then press R2. And then put Edelman on the street. Triangle to Y, select Edelman, push the D-pad up. 
And then for, for me, an ultimate team, I have Jerry Rice with elite route running specialist. So I would just put him on a corner route. But a lot of people don't play. Not everybody plays much. So you can be playing regular. You can play regs. You can play franchise just against your friends. What I would do with uh, Hogan is I would smart route him. Triangle of Y. So like Hogan, press R1 to smart route him. And now that creates that flood and high low read on the left. Obviously, you still got the running back and the tight end on the right side. But we're just going to block them on this play and focus on the left side. So if they go high, you hit Gordon. If they go low, you hit the corner route. So you see here, I think they're going to go low. Yeah, they go low. What the heck? They kind of got, they kind of got the running back. I mean, the wide receivers kind of hit each other. I don't know why they did that right there. Let's go ahead and run it again. It's like they kind of ran into each other. I don't know what that was about. But here, okay, see, they're going high here. Now you hit, you hit Gordon in the low. Five, six yards, quick and easy. You're going to frustrate your opponent to the point where they're going to put hard flats out there. And as soon as they put hard flats out there, you hit them over the head. You hit them over the head with that corner route. So now they're going to play hard flats. Now they're going low. And then you hit them high over top. Up, oh, up. Oh, get out of here. Get out of here. Okay. So that's simple. A simple high-low read on the left and a simple high-low read on the right. Now let's go into the next play. Let's go over inside zone real quick. Obviously, you guys know how to, uh, you should know how to run by now. Inside zone, you just make your read. You can make the inside zone a little bit better by motioning over this middle receiver here, motioning over the middle. And when he gets in between Hogan and the tackle, go ahead and snap it. Because he'll help go ahead and block the, he, he put hands on that, what is his name, the, the linebacker, but he didn't, he didn't actually even make an impact. He kind of like gave him a little patty cake. And he didn't really block him. But he's supposed to go ahead and interact with him and block him. You see here, now he blocks him. Now it's a one-on-one -on -one with you in the safety. So that's how I would run inside zone. The halfback draw is also a good run out of this formation. So now over to the PA slot wheel. The PA slot wheel has a couple of uh, different variations. The first one is to fade Gronkowski. Triangle of Y. Select Gronkowski. Pull the right stick up. And then you put Hogan on a smart route. Triangle of Y. Select Hogan and hitch i said smart route but i meant to say hitch route and then you block the running back so from here with hogan is your first read if he's open you throw to hogan and then you can playmaker him to the left to the right up to the side you can playmaker him whatever and then you have the crossing route and the route from gordon as well as uh as other options in the play so hogan's here you go ahead and hit hogan simple easy routes and most zones won't go ahead and cover it most, most of the time it'll have to be a man coverage in order for somebody to come down on that but we'll go ahead and try to throw the other routes as well so you see here you can playmaker hogan and then you see the crossing route the, the deeper routes came open we got sacked but you see how the routes became open let's go and take a look at an instant replay see here we got hogan down here and we playmaker them to the right and then that opened up these other routes the crossing route gets open and then this route gets open as well i'm only going to throw i'm going to run it again but i'm only going to throw one of them and we can move on to the next setup. But you guys see what I'm talking about here, right? See here, you got your setup here. Pull the right stick left to pull the playmaker. Then you got the crossing route deep down the sideline. We dropped that pass, but sometimes you sometimes you drop passes after they make contact. So now the second setup. You see here, the second setup is to do the same adjustments, but this time to motion over Hogan so that he's on the right side and now he can pull down the zones right away, and now you can playmaker him to the left. And you still have the crossing route over to the side. We, we missed that crossing route there, but it's essentially the same setup, just to the right. The third setup, which, and I think this one's a more unique one, is I would put Gordon on an in route, triangle of Y, select Gordon, push the D-pad to the right. And then you motion over Hogan and keep him on his wheel route. Now this one is, this one is designed to put the user like in trouble, right? You put you got Gronkowski on the fade. If the user guards the crossing route, then you hit Hogan. If he guards the wheel route, then you hit the crossing route. So right now we're going to emulate the user going ahead and guarding Hogan right here. So now the user is going ahead. He's standing in the middle of the field and he's taking Hogan and he's going to guard Hogan. So you see here, if he guards Hogan, then you got the crossing route down the sideline and vice versa he guards the crossing route then you're going to have hogan let's go ahead and show you that real quick and gordon's on the in route one as a check down and two you can play him as well i forgot to 
didn't even make this right adjustment. I got another setup for double in sale too, for you just real quick. I just saw it right there. I forgot. I forgot all about that setup. So you see here, now as a user, he's gonna guard. Where's he at? The user's gonna guard element. That's the user guarding element right there. And now you can obviously you can throw Gordon as the check down. You can throw. You could probably throw Gronkowski out. For some reason, they man that up. They normally never man that up. I'm not, I'm not sure what that is about, but you guys get the idea. High, low read, just like that. Now, another setup that I had that you saw, that you guys kind of saw from the last setup is you put Hogan on a smart route and then you motion him over. So now what you're going to have is you're going to have Hogan come across the field. So now you have a crossing route coming to the left. And now it looks the same like the last play, but now Hogan's the one on the crossing route. And you can set up room for the crossing route just like this this is how i would do it i'd probably leave it just like this and i would probably either i would either street gronkowski i would put him on the end route i would do something with him or you can leave white on that route on the left and you can i mean put that you can leave white on that table route and flood the right side but that's up to you but now you have a crossing route coming from that side should i don't you guys should, i mean you guys have been seeing crossing routes this entire time so now let's go on to PA slot corner. The only time I really utilize PA slot corner is if the user is blitzing his linebackers and I know I can have the middle of the field open to myself. So if he's blitzing, where is he at? If he's blitzing, like if he's running like the 3 3 5 odd blitz and he's blitzing Jones a lot, or he's just in a different set and he's blitzing, like he's running like edge blitz or something like that. And there's only one linebacker or one user defender in the middle of the field, I'll utilize this play because it'll confuse the user. So I would street Gronkowski, triangle of Y, select Gronkowski, pull the right stick up, and I will motion over Hogan and motion snap it. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna force the user to make a decision. If he guards Hogan over the left, then you got Edelman coming to the right. And if he guards Edelman to the right, then you got Hogan coming to the left. So let's make him, let's emulate him guarding Edelman real quick. So you see here, it might be weird because it's man coverage, but you guys will understand once you see it like in live action. You see he guards uh, Edelman to the right, and then you got Hogan coming to the left, and vice versa. He guards the, uh, the Hogan coming to the right, and then you go left. Another way you can set it up is it's like a deep shot play to where you can have double crossing routes. Like on second and short and third and short, you just fade Gronkowski and Gordon. So put them both on fades and it's going to open up the crossing route to both sides. And this is obviously, this is on, you don't have any short routes, but this is like a deep shot play. You you, you just got to pick and now both, you can see both crossing routes are open. And no matter which one the user uses, you're going to have another one open. So that's when I utilize that play. When I need to take advantage of there only being one person in the middle of the field, or I want to take a deep shot. You don't have to set that as your audible, but you can obviously, you can you can change the other plays. You can put in PA counter go and only come out in PA slot. I mean, what is that? PA slot corner when you need to. So now let's go over some of the man beating concepts that we have. So I told you guys that I had some ways to be man coverage and here they are. First, you gotta actually get in man coverage. So here we are in cover two man. So essentially what we're gonna utilize is the same route concept to beat man coverage. Actually. Let's get a little bit more room. Now, when you want to be man coverage, you want to have your trips side to the wide side. So you see my trips receivers on the wide side of the field. And the reason why we're going to need them on the wide side is that we're going to put Gordon on a comeback route. And so let's go back in our man coverage. And so the play that I select is PA shot wheel. And the adjustments that I make is that I put Hogan on a slant, triangle of Y, select Hogan, pull the right stick to the right. And then I put Gordon on a comeback, triangle of Y, select Gordon, press L2. Now in this situation where it's cover two man, I'll put Gronkowski on the streak to clear out that safety. If it's cover one, you don't need to clear out the safety. Or if it's like uh, this, the man blitzes, like the, the cover zero blitzes, you won't need to clear out the safety. But in cover two, you probably will because the safety will come down sometimes and interfere with that crossing route and block your running back. And all you do is you motion Hogan over to the right and you motion snap him. And all three of those routes outside of the streak are going to be man coverage. So you see Hogan's open. You see the crossing route. Actually, the crossing route didn't even get that much separation. It normally gets a lot more separation than that. Let's run it back again. Let me find Let me find out Edelman with his three speed is getting locked down. Hold on now. I might have to switch him with 
Gordon. I don't want to have to, but I might have to because Edelman's so slow. I might just switch him out with like Dorsett or I might just switch him out with Gordon. Well, well if he doesn't get open this time, then we're gonna switch him out real quick. So you see here that that, that po okay, he got he got a little separation right there. Still a little bit too close for my comfort, but he gets open. If Edelman can get open, anybody can get open. You guys know Edelman got like three speeds, but if he can get open, but in Mutt, you probably got Tyreek Hill, Philip Dorsett, Brandon Cooks. You got your speeds out there on the crossing route. But each of these three routes beat man coverage. Now, this man coverage was a little bit tighter than I would like, but here we you see Edelman was able to get his separation, and this comeback route is going to get separation too. So you can throw this too. Let's go ahead and let's throw that real quick. Set up our man beater real quick, just like this. Let's go ahead and get our man coverage on. Now let's go ahead and Hogan's supposed to get more separation. Most of the time, these motion slant corners, motion slant. Okay, yeah, he got a separation there. But you see there, able to run it. So the comeback, crossing route, and the motion slant. Let's go ahead and look at let's look at Hogan real quick just to make sure you guys ain't. So I'm not joshing you on this motion slant. You motion this slant over. You see now he got the separation. You go ahead and throw that ball ahead of him. Or you could throw it with timing or whatever. So when you're running the gun trips tight end, obviously if you if you get to go against a smart opponent who knows your setups to beat his blitzes out of the PA the the, the Y off trips, you're gonna gonna you're going to have to have some ways to beat the blitz out of this formation as well. So I got some for you. I'm going to show you guys the screens and like the bubble screens that I used to, to beat this formation. So obviously you still have all your concepts to where you're attacking the open space of the field. You still have the route where you can have your running back, like the double in cell where you have the running back coming to the flat. Since there's nobody in the flat, you can attack it. You got your corner routes, you got your flat. The other plays still work against zone, I mean, against this man blitzes. I mean, these, this, this play in particular, but I wanted to show you guys some other ways just in concepts. So against this blitz, as you can probably already tell, this is a bubble screen. There's going to be nobody over there guarding Hogan. Nobody over there with Hogan. Hopefully you get your, your, your two blockers out there. There's nobody out there, nobody to pick that ball off. Now, you don't want to do that too many times because the user will, a lot of times the user will go over there and lurk it. And what's good about the, the Patriots playbook is they have the slot screen. Wait, where is it at? The slot swing. So it's a play that looks like the screen play, but it's, it slants behind it. So the user will go ahead and try to guard Hogan, and he'll try to uh, to pick off Hogan. But then you got the the what do you call him? Can I? I can't even. I can't even max protect. I can't max protect out of this. Okay, whatever. But anyway, he has the slants coming behind him. So you guys get it right. He goes. You run the you run the bubble screen. He goes and goes ahead and tries to pick off the bubble screen. And then you come back with this play to go ahead and throw those slants over his head. So let's go ahead and emulate that real quick. Get him over here. Get him in this situation. So now the user is going to go ahead. And this user, sometimes he use the lines up over here to stop the run. And he'll shoot out here to guard Hogan and guard that bubble screen. So you see here. I'm kind of I'm kind of salty that I can't max protect or do whatever I want with it see here and now you got slants coming across the middle of the field so that's one way is by using bubble screens let's go ahead and show you guys like i think the pa slot wheel works as well so what i'll do out of the pa slot wheel is i would streak gordon and then i will block my running back and i'll probably motion them over so that way it's even and so what it is is it's playing on the fact that this is a cover three let's go ahead here it's playing on the fact that it's a cover three and so now what's going to happen is either the wheel route or Edelman's going to get open. If the user guards the crossing route, then you got Hogan. I highly doubt that he's going to go all the way to the outside of the defense to go ahead and guard the uh, Hogan because it's, there's no not, not too many users are going to completely abandon the middle of the field. And if he does, you can take advantage of that. If he abandons the middle of the field, you can just put Edelman on a slant or you can just throw Gronkowski on whatever because he's abandoned the middle of the field. But anyway, there's nobody over there on that sideline. You just throw that wheel around. And those are just the ways I like to uh, attack it from that formation. I'm going to show you these slip screens real quick. So not only are screens pretty good against blitzes because all your blitzes are coming into the pocket and all of your blocking is going to the outside of the pocket. 
This specific blitz can also create like a little high low read. If the user goes and comes down and try to pick off the uh, the the screen, you can throw over his head to Gronkowski with like a high pass. And you're gonna need to make the read quickly because the blitz is coming at you with almost no blockers. But it's pretty simple. He goes low, you throw over his head to Gronkowski. If he stays where is he at or goes and guards Gronkowski, you throw the screen. As simple as that. So let's go ahead and throw the screen here. Get to the outside. Now you have a hopefully you have a platoon of blockers. My blockers went the other way, but that's in general. That's the scheme in a nutshell. You want to flood the zones. You want to high low and against specific defenses. You can run certain things. Now I showed you a cover three beater out of the Y off trips pats. There is a cover four beater here in the PA fork, but it takes a long time to develop. So you see here we got cover four drop show two. It takes a, I don't like using it because it takes a long time to develop. But anyway, what I do is this is the normal play right here. I will streak Edelman, triangle wise, like Edelman, put him on the street, block Gronkowski, block your running back, and then put Hogan on a smart in route. Triangle wise, like Hogan, puts the D pad to the right, and then put him on a smart in route. And the Gordon is a, it's going to take a fortnight to get there. But he's going to get there and he's going to be able to hit him deep over the top of the safeties. It takes forever. So I really only recommend it against like cover for a drop show too. But you can see he's getting open over there. Then you throw it to the side. You throw it to the side. Just like that. He dropped that pass. Obviously, you're going to have drop passes. You could probably even throw it sooner. Hold on. Let me see if I can throw it sooner. You can probably throw it as soon as he clears like those safeties. You can probably throw it. But I don't like throwing this too often because it takes forever. Like you could probably throw it right now. Actually, no, you couldn't. I lied. But that's a cover three beater. As long as you wait for him to get to the other side. Let me see if you can smart route it real quick. So I smart routed Gordon so that he breaks sooner. Let's see real quick. I smart routed him so he can break sooner. Maybe we got a smart router. Let's see. I don't know why my use is over there for some reason. Okay, it looks like smart routing makes him break a little bit sooner. But it's a little bad throw. But that's what I have for passing. Let's show you the goal line defense. I mean the goal line offense. I said defense. I meant to say goal line offense. Essentially, the goal line offense is the same as the goal line offense from the two tight end scheme. It's the same play, but just from a different formation. So you have your trips tight end. I usually take double in sale, and let's go into a random three four. So let's actually let's back up a little bit. So the the, the four, what I essentially do is I will streak Hogan and Gronkowski triangle Y and put them both on streak and then I will put Edelman on a flat so the reads are if I can get my streaks open and they, they are on the sideline and they're back of the end zone by themselves I will throw a high pass that's hold L1 and then throw it to those receivers but if Gordon I see Gordon getting open I'm going to throw a low pass to him let's see if I can make that read see here Gronkowski's a little bit open you throw it to him if he makes the catch or not I mean, it's a contested catch it's, you're not going to get too many uncontested catches in this area that was like a little weird man coverage but it's a low ball to the uh in route and then a high ball to those other receivers i also have something else out of a different formation i can show you guys see here i should have thrown it to gronkowski but i was so amazed that they were blitzing like that you know i got mesmerized but you seeing gronkowski open see here make a decision uh, was able to get it. Was able to get it. Now he dropped it. So let's go to the other formation real quick. So this is the gun tight slot. You can realistically choose any play. I normally pick stick. Now obviously in the red zone, you can run the ball, run halfback draw, run inside zone. All your runs will work pretty well. In this one, it makes it a little bit easier or a little bit harder on your opponent to guard it with these high points. Element, you probably want to be Gordon. So you probably want to switch Element and. Gordon but obviously you want tall guys with good jump good catching tra traffic good spec catch but essentially throw your inside guys on streaks and I mean that's the simple read if your low guys are open then you throw a low pass to them and if your guys that are on the on the streaks are open throw a high pass to them it's just those, those simple curls real quick just like this okay Gronkowski's open Edelman's open I could have thrown it to either one of them. I threw a little bit late to Edelman, but he's also 5'10". Let's go ahead and throw here what we got here. Edelman's open. Throw it to Edelman. 
Okay, we finally caught one after throwing like 15,000 passes. Edelman caught one. I'll show you guys this in game. I showed you like if you watched the last scheme video, you guys saw this in action. So you guys saw that it actually works. This was actually pretty good. They actually covered it up pretty well. But you also still have the presence of mind to probably run in that situation as well. So that's it for the scheme video. Just remember, this is a scheme that if you have, if you want to take it to make it a little bit more risky, obviously with you passing more, you have, you're more apt or more susceptible to throw and pick. But in general, how I attack most defenses is against zone coverage. I will flood an area of the field and I'll make a high low read. And then I'll have a user distraction as well. It's pretty simple. It may look complicated because my opponent uh, means by switching up formations and then doing all the motion that I do, it all looks like a different play. Like he has to guard 15,000 different things, but it's the same concept. So it's easy for me to read because I know what I, I know what I'm aiming for. I'm, I know I'm aiming for flood and I'm aiming for a high low read. So you can go beyond the stuff that are, obviously you can go beyond the stuff that I'm showing you in this video. There's more plays, there's more to each of these formations, but uh, but the sake of having this video, having a 15 hour video, I only showed you guys maybe four, maybe three to four for each formation. So it's pretty simple. Showed you guys how to beat the blitzes, how to beat the 3355, and you can still combine this with the two tight end scheme. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to jump into the live action gameplay and I'll show you guys how my thought process is we're running this. I'll see you guys in a second. All right, fellas, so we're in the live gameplay right now. I'm about to make my adjustments. It's not live. Obviously, I'm not live on my channel, but I'm actually playing while I'm talking. So, you guys, we can go through my thought process a little bit. So, I'm right now, I'm going to start off in the Y off trips pat, and we're going to see if we can make something. We, we can make something shake. Opponent looks like he's in a little cover, too. Hmm, he's in a 4-3 over, 4-3 over, under, I think. We're just going to run the ball just to see what he's in. Uh, we, we didn't even get that too many yards. It's kind of weird like how I bounced to the outside. So he's in a cover three. You guys know what we do to cover three, don't you? And don't recommend, Obviously, I don't recommend you trying to do no cover three beaters off the top. But, hey, you know, this is a this is for the YouTube. You know what I'm saying? We got we to gotta see if we can make something pop. Let's go ahead and bring Moss over. Come on, Moss. I know you can do it. Yeah, there we go. Put him on an out route there. So this is the same concept I've been talking about. Make sure he's not on aggressive or anything oh we got to catch the ball there we go oh we dropped it come on baby oh no okay let's set up our double in sale let's set up our trips tight end offense i can't believe we dropped that one that hurt baby so now i'm just gonna run my simple smoke screen to the left on my concept to the left he's leaving it open actually we're gonna run the ball He's not, he doesn't have that many DBs. I mean, he doesn't have that many people in the inside. Oh, yeah, we got the pancakes. Oh, yeah. He, he probably went to, like, a pass-heavy defense. So he probably put one of his de defense, I mean, defense alignment on the spy. We'll, take it, we'll definitely take advantage of that, sir. And so you guys see here, now I'm just switching in between formations now. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Uh, what, what's that doing? Okay, here. Put the heel on that. Streak him out. Oh, I'm running out of time. I did. I want to put heel on the end route, but I ran out of time. Sim simple high low reads. Oh, I'm going to put it on conservative because I don't want to fumble on this drive right here. I'm going to go ahead and put him on conservative. Even though I, I shouldn't need to, but I will just in case. You know what I'm saying? Don't want to fumble. You know what I'm saying? Don't want to fumble for the YouTubes. All right, what we got? Now it's, it's the time we probably could take a deep shot. You know what I'm saying? Second and short. Let's take a deep shot real quick. As long, I mean, I could run the ball here, but, you know, we're doing it for the YouTube. We're taking a deep shot. He's sending his little pass rush at me. See, he made, he, he went he went to the... Oh, we got to go in. He went to the, uh, the post that was coming across to the right, and we went across to the left. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? As long as you stay calm and you make your reads, you should be straight. These concepts work in real life. I'm not saying I'm the best. I'm a MCS pro, but I'm, I win a decent amount of games. You know what I'm saying? And the key behind these two formations is just simply switch, switch between them. That's it. That's all you got to do. Your opponent get used to one of them, then you just start switching it up. 
So now we're in here. We're gonna have back power. Not the best run in the game, but it's pretty decent. Ah, oh, we could have got in there. We could have got a little bit more yards. You know what I'm saying? What we got here? Cover too hard flat. I like that. It really rocks with the cover too hard flat. Now in the red zone, in like this little area, it gets a little bit tighter. But we still should be able to make it work. You know what I'm saying? I really want Rice on that corner out because he's a better receiver. But I can work with this. Got him on that post route. Oh, we didn't we weren't able to get in. Oh no. Okay, this first play I'm gonna pass it, even though normally I would run it. I just want to show you guys that those passing concepts work. Actually, it's too it's too easy not to run this ball. I'm gonna have to. Sorry guys. I I got videos about my high points in uh, on my channel, but I I gotta run this ball. Oh, we weren't able to get in. Looks like we're gonna have to pass it now, huh? So let's go to the second set. I actually like that set. It's pretty decent. The tight slots, like I showed you the little stick play that I showed you guys. So let's go ahead and run that. He was actually able to stop the run. It looked like it was pretty cake for the run right there. I might not be able to score. He might have me shut down, you know what I'm saying? So let's make this read real quick. Is he blitzing anybody? No, not really. Moss is wide open in the back of the end zone. <laughs> let's get it. But that's, I mean, that's the scheme in a nutshell, guys. I, I appreciate you guys showing up, man. If you learned something today, if you like this, you're able to use this in your own scheme, let me know by hitting the like button. It really helps your boy out. But I mean, that's it. That's the Patriots ebook. You guys got the two tight end set, and you guys got the three wide receiver pass every set. Like, again, like the video. If you guys liked it, it helps the channel grow. And I'll see you guys around next time. Peace.